After weeks of protests calling for police reform, San Diego police just announced its new de-escalation policy. Fox 5's Liberty Zabala is live from SDPD headquarters with what officers are now required to do to reduce use of force. Liberty. Well, Kathleen, the chief called this policy the most robust in the nation. It would require officers to create a buffer zone between themselves and a subject. It would also require officers to intervene if they see another officer using unreasonable force. After weeks of protests condemning the killing of George Floyd in police custody, San Diego police say they've been listening. Tell the community, we hear you, we're listening. The mayor and police chief unveiled a new de-escalation policy that would require officers to create a buffer zone between officers and a subject. It would also require officers to use specialized services like the psychiatric emergency response team whenever possible. This is a policy that will help make sure that what happened in Minneapolis does not happen here in San Diego. And it would require officers to intervene if another officer is using unreasonable force. We appreciate that the department has added new language regarding an officer's duty to intervene. This new level of built-in accountability will hopefully usher in a new culture of policing in San Diego. The policy was endorsed by three local oversight boards and the NAACP, but others say it does not do enough to address racial tension. I'm calling on Chief Nislight to make stronger steps toward race relations with the police department. And you didn't hear much of that today. You heard a lot of mechanical changes, which are good. We need to address that, but we need to address race in policing. But all parties agree the new policy is just the beginning to building more trust and accountability. Community, we know you asking for much more, and we know there's a lot of hard work that needs to go into this. But this has to be celebrated as us going forward. Once again, San Diego is now the foot footprint of what many cities and states will be doing. And this policy comes after SDPD already banned its use of the carotid restraint earlier this month and a day after the city council voted unanimously for a police reform measure to be placed on the November ballot. For now, live in downtown, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.